I took this picture at a local arboretum when I was after some autumnal colours. Spotted these leaves floating in a pond and thought that would make a good picture. Then I downloaded it and found, um, well, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> but in a few very short steps, you'll be surprised just the way we can sort of transform this picture. Making a start, let's come to the background layer here. We're going to duplicate it using Command J or Control J. Right, the default setting for this, the blend mode, is normal. But if we change this to multiply, look at the difference we're making already. Really does increase the sort of the tones and colors in the picture. But if we take this layer and duplicate it, complete with its blend mode using Command J, Control J, it darkens it down even further. Pushing it, Command J, Control J, one more time looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to merge these layers down into layer number one. To do that, layer, merge down, Command D or Control E is the shortcut. So it's Command D, Control E one more time. We're back where we started with layer one, but it's a really dark, rich toned picture. This is in the multiply blend mode. You can come in, you can just drop the opacity down. It depends on the sort of tonal range of the picture you're working with. You might even want to change it back to normal blend mode and perhaps just blend that in. Or try something else. Try going to soft lights. Now blending this through, you can see the way that's looking pretty good there. That's at 100% opacity. But if we drop down to the adjustment layers, let's go to hue saturation. When hue saturation opens, going to come straight to the saturation slider, going to pull this up to that sort of area there, looks pretty good. Dropping down to the lightness slider, clicking on this, and if we move this to the left, you'll see how we can darken the picture down just a little bit more. Something perhaps in that range there looks, uh, yeah, that's about it. Right, coming back to the layers panel. We're going to drop down one more time. This time we're going to head for levels. Now, not surprising, because we put that lightness up with the hue saturation, we've removed some of the lighter pixels from this range here. Clicking on the slider. He says, clicking on the slider. Thank you. Moving it across, you can see the picture brightening up there. But if we come to the center slider, what we can do now is we can click on this. We can move it to the right. As we begin to move it to the right, you'll notice the picture so dropping down there, that looks pretty good. Like that, if you just drop down, click on the eye, you can see there's the before, there's the after. That'll do nicely. Now, because we've used blend modes, because we've come through, you'll notice some areas which are already black may come through just a little bit too heavy. Dropping down, clicking on the layer mask, we've now added a layer mask to layer 1. Coming across, making sure we've got black as the foreground colour, so press X on the keyboard. Picking up the gradient tool, coming up to the radial gradient, excuse me, thank you, radial gradient, coming across to this box here, making sure we've got the gradient editor with the preset set on foreground to transparent, that's foreground through to transparent, that checkable background, click OK to that. Coming up the opacity, need to reduce this, yes you can use the slider, but try using the numbers, the numerical keys, 3, 30%, just what I'm after. Coming in, clicking down on this, and I'm just going to come around this area here, and you can see as I click and drag down, we're just removing some of that black. So just keeping the, the tones, it's not going to be so heavy when it comes through, and just down this area of the slimming our tree down there nicely. And just looking at this part here, there's just a little bit too much black in there as well. To say this really does depend on the tonal range of the picture you're in, but you can still come in. Now, I've come over that part, it's just a bit too bright. Press X on the keyboard. We're now back to white as a foreground colour, so we can paint this mask back in. So just coming over that area a few times there, that looks better. Pressing X again, just small steps out with the gradient tool. And there it is, job done. Just a little bit in this corner. I think that'll do nicely. Right, there it is. Go on, give it a try. It's surprising how you can actually transform a picture from that's what we started off with. Coming in, changing the blend modes, merging them down, hue saturation and levels just to bring through the, uh, the you know, a little bit of contrast there with the picture. Go on, give it a try. Oh, tell you what, let's zoom in. Let's take a look as well. You've got this bit. Right, just when you reminded me, just using the spacebar, 
You see the colours, the tones, they're absolutely fantastic. I love the way, that's what attracted me to this, is the fact that you've got this leaf on the surface, this one dropping down, this one down on the bottom, and other leaves right on the bottom there. Gives it a nice layered effect. Go on, give it a go. Until the next time, it's Happy Imaging, and take care.